Hi, I'm Juan Antolini Mitri Rosales. And I'm Jack Solomon. My name is Elena Sabir. Hi, I'm Alice Patwick. And I'm Zen Simone. And my name is Manuel Jamin. My name is David Ragland. Hi, I'm Kaylin Kojima. I'm a senior at HPA. And I'm using electroencephalogram technology to look into the treatment of bipolar disorder. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm a senior at HPA for seven more days. Oh my gosh. And I've worked at the Energy Lab all year. The Energy Lab is a lead platinum building dedicated to environmental research on my campus. A select group of students get to do research up here, and I was lucky enough to be one of those students both my junior and my senior year. We had a drone team at Hawaii Preparatory Academy. Juan will fly the drone while I uh, just control the camera. Some of the main features of the Inspire One drone are that it has a GPS and altitude sensor. So we're able to take these photos and put them into software like Pix4D and create 3D telemetry models of basically anything. Without the school, we would never be able to afford these drones on our own. And being able to work with this technology has allowed us to learn new skills such as 3D mapping, cinematography, um, all kinds of skills that we wouldn't be able to learn on our own. The purpose of the color project is to, fa to find an associated brain pattern with three primary co colors of light, which are blue, green, and red. So some of the conclusions that I um, ended up with were that um, there is actually no pattern associated with each color, but within each person, the frequencies for each color differs, which proves the point that when you look at different colors, your brain responds differently. When people look at colors that they like, their um, brain is more calm, and when they look at colors that they don't like, their brain is more active. In the early winter, we began with the environmental audit. We used nomad sensors to measure CO2 level, temperature, sound, and humidity in classrooms at the lower campus. We then made alterations to the classrooms to better optimize the learning environment. Things such as sound panels, better sealed windows, and better ventilation systems have been installed. I started working on data science related to finance. The main three topics I covered were portfolio optimization. I found examples of portfolio optimizations online and reverse engineered the processes to create an analysis of the sample portfolio on a plot. Pairs trading. Pairs trading is a market neutral strategy that takes two related stocks and effectively switches between them to take advantage of statistical arbitrage. Statistical software made it easy to find where the differences would be highest based on the slope of the graphs and econometrics. Using R, you could find the optimum price to position your product to maximize revenues based on the price elasticity of demand. I began my work with the Hotchkiss 2.0 project to talk to different independent schools about the environmental initiatives they're taking on campus. I've recently begun a summer internship with the organization from the Energy Lab, where I will lead in writing Project Green Challenges for the Project Green Challenge 2015. I would like to show you the augmented reality holographic control system that I've coded for the Google Glass. My goal with this project was to create a new, more intuitive way of interacting with and comprehending digital data systems by blurring the line between the digital world and reality. Now I can view and interact with my holograms as if they were physical objects. And I can integrate live data feeds and gesture outputs between my holograms and existing control systems. Bipolar disorder is a mental illness that causes extreme shifts in mood, energy, sleep, and behavior. Treatment typically includes medication or psychotherapy, but I wanted to look specifically into something called neurofeedback therapy. By looking at live brainwave feedback, one can learn to self-regulate and shape their brain functions. The goal being to bring yourself out of a manic or depressed state. This project is very personal to me because I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2012. I took on the project because I wanted to explore the physiology of my brain and I like the idea of taking back control of my emotions and my behaviors. And I just, I hope research like this will continue to help others overcome the challenges of this serious disease while also taking on the stigma that hangs around mental illness. And just disordered or not, I think the brain is a beautiful thing and through this project I've learned to explore and embrace that. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.